Alden Aki here with Mission 4 Infinity of my Halo 4 Lazo campaign mission walkthrough series. That's Legendary All Skulls On. Here we are setting the mission up. You can see that all the skulls are on. All 13. It's Legendary Difficulty. And this particular mission uh, has a, a couple of major skips and several minor skips. It's mostly tactics driven. There's a big skip in the beginning and a big skip uh, towards the end which I will uh, go into more detail about when they occur. But as we start we'll go ahead and skip the, uh, the initial cutscene. Turn left and we get control and just start running down here. Now the first uh, enemies that appear will be three community knights. We don't worry about them uh, because they teleport out as soon as we get close. we will be coming up here momentarily. Uh, first thing we want to do when we get down here is swap out our AR for a DMR. Jump over here, One of get more ammo for the DMR, Check his more IFS ammo, card. and then uh, select that tag friend or foe tag. Come over here Hello, and Jay. jump up here, the still out here there, a little so. left, walk up here, jump up here. Sometimes it takes a couple sprint jump across to here, and that horizontal log, and then jump down about this position here and then go ahead and jump down and what we've done is we bypassed a spawn trigger for the Prometheans that are in the next area those crawlers are already there we couldn't do anything about them but uh, this area up here to the right there would be a knight a watcher several crawlers and to the left as soon as I jump down two crawlers would spawn but uh, you notice they aren't there we can thank Michael W. Smith for finding that little skip now here comes the big one first of all we want to jump right up here Crouch jump to here. Crouch jump again. Make sure you're here. Crouch jump up. We're crouch jumping up this big log. Crouch jump here to here. Crouch jump here. Make sure you hold the crouch. Turn around. Jump down here. Okay, over to here. That little bright spot. Aim a little left of the sunshine. Aim back right a little bit. Jump and bunny hop across. And there we go. Crouch jump up here. All right, do a sprint jump across to here. Jump down to this log. This is right at the edge of the map. And then just follow the log down by the flower and just take off running. And what we've done here is we've bypassed the spawn trigger for all the remaining Prometheans in Rally Point Alpha. So we don't have to deal with any Prometheans until we get to Rally Point Bravo. We've got another and that avoids a major, of actually about four separate firefights, to be quite honest, and having to deal with several knights and and all kinds of stuff. So it takes a little practice to be able to do those jumps through the logs and stuff. So, uh, but it's at right at the beginning of the mission, so I would invest the time in it. Running right by that particular uh, dead marine, uh, he had a couple of frag grenades there, so I picked those up. Don't worry about it because as we get up I've here to this uh, closed IFF doorway, as as we're coming tell, to we're momentarily, to uh, there's ammo crates up end. there that also have grenades. And what we've done is we've turned an anywhere from a 12 to 15 minute series of firefights into about a three and a half minute tops uh, run through the uh, map the with no opposition. Tag, we haven't fired a shot. It to? Okay, go ahead and select that friend of foe tag because the mission won't advance without it. And now we're in a forced cutscene. Can't get out of it. Multiple IDs. Chief, they're friendlies. Alright, uh, we'll be able to get out of this momentarily here. There we go. Go ahead and skip the cutscene. And when we get control back, when this door opens, there will be a crawler across the way. Should be big enough to bring in a drop ship. Go ahead and take him out with the pistol. Okay, take him out with the pistol. Run over to this bent tree here. Now we're using that as cover. I haven't seen that before. That second uh, crawler, initial crawler, retreated. Usually, he sticks around and fights. All right. Now before we go after this knight, we want to get, we've got at least uh, one one to three crawlers that we need to take out. There's one, if any more come up. And, and that's why I'm sort of bouncing back and forth. I'm not giving him a, 
a good target uh, to fire his grenades at. He's also taking out the Marines, which is probably a good thing because uh, they can actually get in the way. If they're firing at him, uh, he'll jump around a little bit. Again, I'm looking for the crawlers back there to advance on the uh, knight. I don't see him. I don't see him. And, I've, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a circle melee right here. All right. Spin around behind him. Go just past where you think the midpoint is and back smack him immediately retreat because a second knight and there is oh there's that crawler there's another one okay so this time the crawlers held back a little bit but you did notice that I was sort of bouncing back and forth there waiting to see if they would if they would come up and support that first knight now we're gonna deal with the second knight in the same way alright it's time to go after the second knight Get him in a grenade throwing animation. And when he goes into the animation, you get closer, go ahead and sprint, run by and spin around and back smack him. Okay. I was hoping to pick up an auto sentry there um, before I took on this watcher. So I'm letting my marine buddy fire on him now. And I'm kind of looking around for an auto sentry. Alright, take out that last crawler. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, there we go. Picked it up. When you don't have any, uh, you don't have any AAs. Uh, and all you have to do is run over one. You don't have to select it. It's only when you have one and you want to, you want to get them. A uh, different one lying on the ground is when you have to select it like you're swapping out a weapon. Okay. Watcher's down. Now I'm looking for... I just picked up a light rifle, swapping out my pistol. And I'm looking for the second light rifle that that's out here. Uh, so that I can uh, get full ammo on the light rifle that I have in hand. And the problem is, is that the color of the weapon is very close to the color of the ground. And they're not easy to spot. So you almost have to kind of, there we go, you remember, you got to remember where you tip these knights out. Sometimes if you take them out with actually an assassination animation, by, by the way, I just went back there to make sure that I was full of ammo with uh, the DMR. And now we're going to do another little skip here that I first saw Michael W. Smith do. Jump up on this rock, jump again, now these are crouch jumps, turn left and jump again. So it's crouch jump, crouch jump, turn left and jump. And you should come up and out of there, and it saves you having to deal with a knight and several crawlers. Okay, we come up here, throw up the auto sentry, we've got the light rifle out, we want to take that watcher out first. There he goes. Now we're back over and dealing with the uh, crawlers, and I'm actually getting a little help from my marine buddies this time. I don't have to take them all out myself. They're notoriously bad shots, but they are actually, uh, I guess along with my auto uh, sentry, or are actually taking a couple or three of these crawlers out for me. Okay, and then there's the knight appearing. I'll throw up uh, my auto sentry again to distract him a little bit, and I'm going to go after him to do another circle melee. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to get him in position. I'm trying to get him in position. Throwing a grenade. There he goes. He's throwing a grenade. Run by him. Turn around. It's time to get him in with an animation. That's just holding your melee key down a little bit as you get around behind him. Okay, we've got several crawlers up here to take out. Plus that one. There's a binary crawler stuck in the tree. Inside the tree. It was pretty easy pickings. Okay, I think that's it for the crawlers. There might be one more up here on the right side that i got to take a look at. Alright, ammo up on the, uh, on the DMR. And now I'm looking for the light rifle. There it is. Get full ammo on that. And come up to the right side here to see if there is a... Uh, if there is... Uh, a crawler hanging out and he isn't. And run up this uh, falling down tree trunk here. That's going to trigger the next 
uh, checkpoint and spawn of, uh, of uh, Prometheans, and that's got two turrets, two watchers, two knights, and a bunch of crawlers. And what we're going to do is I swapped out my light rifle for a railgun and hit the uh, turret with the railgun. Second one, three shots from the DMR, and the uh, turret is toast. I'm going to thank uh, Mythic Tyrant for that. I'm, he was the first one I see, uh, I saw do that. All right, grab my light rifle back. Come on back down here. And now I've got several more. Well, actually, I've got the uh, watchers to take out first. By the way, that uh, Valley Point Alpha skip, the big one, Thanks to No Eyes 10 and Haleman 3000. They both found it right about the same time. Give credit where credit's due there. Alright, using a light rifle here to take out the watchers. Okay, both watchers are done. And I'm going to throw up a uh, auto sentry there to keep the uh, Promethean Knight busy. And run up the right side here. Now if there's, a, if there's a crawler waiting for him, you can take him out, but you can only take one out. What we want to do is get up here before this Knight uh, spawns, so we can take him with an assassination. Alright, the next Knight's going to jump up here momentarily. There he is. We want to take him out the same way. That's what I'm going to do with the back smack. Nope, assassination as well. Okay. Now before you go anywhere, make sure that you you get uh, light rifle ammo from the light rifles that were dropped because once you advance off this uh, top area here, those uh, two light rifles will despawn. I have no idea why, but they do. The Marines got trapped trying to get okay, through these so doors. Remember to get your uh, light rifle ammo before you move down here. Now I'm going to uh, go down here and ammo up on my DMR. From the DMR by that rock. Come on back up here. And I notice that the uh, light rifles are gone. I just want to show you that. Okay, let's go ahead and activate the terminal. And now we're going to do a bunch of spawn killing and position killing. First thing we want to do is run down here. This is this is holdout right here. Run down to this fork in the path, right at the source of it. Go ahead and take this guy with an animation, haul it over to here, take out the second one with the back smack, run up here, you want to take out one of the crawlers, okay, uh, the next knight, knight number three is going to appear, ugh, you want to do that, don't give up, take him out, now we got to get this crawl, I mean this watcher out of here real quick before he respawns that, uh, that knight. Uh, because bad things will happen if you don't. Normally I can take that knight out with the single melee, but did not do that that time, but that's plan B. You know, just keep whacking away at him and then take out that uh, watcher real quick. Okay, now we've got about 11 or so crawlers to deal with, and we want to take out all but three. So I'm just uh, kind of counting in my head here. When I get to six or so, then I'll start looking around to see how many are left. I want to make sure that there's at least three left before I make my next move to position myself for a spawn killing. Okay, let's sort of come up here and take a look, see. Alright, let's see, there's two over there. And I've actually seen, okay, now, now I'm making sure I'm counting. There's two, three, there's still four left, so I'll take one more out, and that should be it. There should be just three left, and I'm going to run down here down this, uh, this fallen log thing, down here to fill up with DMR ammo. Uh, well, I'm not quite full, but we'll have to do. Then run back up this path here, and I need to take out at least one of the crawlers and then position myself for a spawning knight. All right, I actually got two of them. There we go. And that knight is down. All right, then I retreat to right about this position here. Three crawlers are going to come down uh, from the uh, sandbags. I'm going to let them run up towards uh, to the top here. 
And because I took out two crawlers uh, instead of one before I uh, took out that knight, I just need to take out two other crawlers here as I'm looking back here. When I take out another crawler, I never hit him. Okay, a uh, watcher will spawn and come over here to try to spawn crawlers. We want to take that watcher out with the light rifle real quick. Okay, now we're going to position ourselves for the last two knights. And I need to take out at least one of these uh, crawlers. I actually got both of them that time and position myself right here. Go ahead. Now, this time I assassinated the knight. That's okay. Then right over here to the rock, up to the edge here. I don't know if it's a rock or an old tree trunk. I run up to the edge, and then when that knight spawns, go ahead and back smack. And that's a combination of position killing and spawn killing. Now, all we got left here in the holdout area... Okay, when uh, when that waypoint appears, three more crawlers will come up here from the sandbags. We just need to take them out. Alright, so they're taken care of. And, oh, no ammo there. I'm, I'm trying to get full ammo on my DMR. Oh, no ammo there. Okay, this is a nice little trick that RC Master showed in his run. Notice that subtle screen freeze there? It just reloaded the weapons, the initial weapons on the uh, on the map here for me, or in this area. See, even that DMR came back. Okay, so I've got full light rifle and full DMR, and let's go up here and activate the, the terminal. And uh, Cortana's going to open the uh, doorway, and we'll take her back. And off we go to the landing zone. Another hair-raising battle about to happen. That hatch of security was more difficult than I expected. It's all right. As we come up here towards the entrance of this cave, or the passageway, where do you want to call it? Go ahead and take that run out. What we want to do is take out all the cubbies that are right around the cave now. You're working with the Prometheus. And be very mindful of the grunts that have needlers. And a shield of jacket will come up, and at some point here, I believe a sneaky grunt's going to come up with a needler, but I'm not really sure when that happens in this particular one. But anyway, while I wait for him to, to come up to the cave map, I'm going to go over here and take care of this jackal marksman. And notice I threw up the. Uh, Auto sentry that keeps him busy and freezes him, and then I can go back here. Okay. Whoa! All right. Glad I didn't get EMP there. Oh, nuts! There's a watcher out there. Sometimes that watcher appears, and sometimes it doesn't. But we want to take it out. We want to make sure it's not there so that I can uh, respawn uh, knights. Because he's being difficult by hiding behind that uh, big old rock that's lag tight. Ooh, look out. Runt with a needler. That's what I was looking out for. Okay, took care of him. Now the uh, watcher's back out. One thing you can do if he hides on you is just fire at one of the knights and he'll come out to support the knight. Alright, I believe I've taken care of the watcher. And now we're just cleaning up the... Uh, Covey's in the area, and we're not going to deal with the knights yet. In this particular run, by the way, uh, I'm shocked how quickly uh, the having to deal with the knights what is, is one of the rare configurations, if you will. Okay. When uh, Cortana says, I'm shocked, uh, that's a signal for the next wave of Covey's to come in on the Phantom there. And the Phantom's going to drop off three grunts on the left and several uh, shielded jackals on the right. And uh, we don't really want to step out and let that phantom see us because the main gunner will open up on us. So we're just kind of hiding here in the corner. And we're waiting for the grunts to drop out. Oh, and look who wandered over. Another grunt. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the grunts. Four of them now. And right, that's all four down. And then uh, there's a shield of jackal. 
course he hides behind the, that uh, that rock formation there. But he comes back. You can see uh, that there were two jackals still out there. Normally the uh, the knights will hang back until you take care of all all or all but one of the uh, um, coveys. All right. Whoops! Oh, got it. I was getting ready to uh, make a run at that knight to do a circle melee when the second knight appeared. Come back out here and take another look. Oh, jeez. This is this is uh, you know one of the more difficult of the iterations of this particular part of the mission. Uh, the way the knights behave does vary a little bit. Sometimes you can pick them off one at a time from the uh, cave mouth by running out, doing a circle melee, and running back into the cave area. But in this particular one, I've got, I, I know there's at least two out there. And I think at some point, three, three of the knights are up around the area of the cave mouth. Okay, there's one. There's two. Nothing I can do yet. So I'm exhibiting a great deal of patience here. And there, was, there are some that have gotten to this point in the mission and, and seen the setup here and just given up. But I'm, in this particular mission, I just I figure I'd, I'd uh, see if I can get through, get, deal with the uh, multiple knights here close together, or, or die trying, if you will, and then start over. Oh my goodness, now there's three of them. This is not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, I'm going to go take another peek here. This particular uh, area here is one of the reasons why this mission took a little bit longer than it normally takes for me. Having the... Whoops, see? Oh, they just keep spawning together right from the entrance of the cave. And I really don't want to go out there and try to take one down while another one is nearby. Looking right at me. Because what will happen is, is I'll probably get drilled by grenades or something, or he'll, he'll uh, melee me and I'm, I'm toast. Jeez. Alright, I think what I, yeah, what I do is, I think I saw all three of them out there. I threw up an auto sentry there just to distract them to see if I can get them into another pattern. Okay, there's at least two of them out there now. And this takes a lot of patience. Now, I'm trying to do, I'm actually trying to do this mission a uh, single segment with no deaths uh, so that it's a true mythic mission, in which I do succeed. But you can, you know, if you do die and, you, and you're quick enough, you can go into save and quit and resume uh, and bypass the Iron Skull. Here we go, he's alone. I'm coming after him. Swing around behind him. Okay, I really wanted to do a back smack there, but uh, there, uh, there wasn't anybody nearby, and I was able to take him out with an assassination. One of the problems with uh, that maneuver, if you take him out with an assassination, and there's another knight nearby, he will throw a grenade at you, and you'll die <laughs> while you're in the middle of that assassination. That's happened to me before. Okay, let's see if we can get knight number two here. Trying to get him paying attention to me with, oops, no, no, I may have two knights coming up. Whoops, that didn't look too good. Alright, I'll come around here and try again. Now hopefully I'll be able to have these two guys separated. One guy will go off patrolling somewhere else. I don't see the second one, so I'm going to come out here and try another circle melee. Oh, another assassination. That's okay because the second the uh, second one out there wasn't nearby. So now I'm down to two knights. And sometimes if you take out both battle wagons and you're left with two knights, uh, the two lancer knights, if you will, then uh, uh, notice by the way that I took out the uh, the uh, shielded jackal there that was just kind of standing there. 
sometimes the uh, pelican will appear. Uh, in this case, I've still got one Lancer Knight, I believe, to take out. Alright, so where are you? Yeah, that's a battle wagon. I, that's what I meant. I, I have another battle wagon to take out. With a scatter shot there. Alright, trying to get him focused on me. Okay, throwing grenades. Throwing grenades. Run by him, turn around, and boom. Unusual, but I took three of them, all three of those knights out, three of the four out with assassinations. Alright, now I'm kind of looking around to see, and I see the pelicans getting ready to come back in now. Or come in now. And I'm looking around to see if there's any cubbies out there and the spot where that uh, fourth knight is. Sentry to keep the uh, the knight distracted. What we want to do here is we want to run underneath the platform, the ramp. Make sure that we don't run into a grenade like that, and that will that will uh, get us through the end of uh, Raleigh Point Alpha and the start of uh, Raleigh Point Charlie, which is what just happened here. Now, instead of getting involved in a big tank battle, I'm going to do the second major skip of the mission. I turn left and I run towards this rock here. Let him have it. I actually overran it like an idiot. Or jumped over it. I thought I was toast, but never give up. Come back here, jump up on the rock, jump up on this crooked beam here, right on the edge, do a sprint jump across, and then down. Take your time right here, you don't want to go too far. Jump up on this uh, rock formation and through here. Again, I thought I was toast here momentarily. You can see the light here, so I just want to jump up through this hole. Come down here and make a left, and then come through this spot here. Again, this may take a little practice to do. And then go ahead and jump up and down. And what we've done is bypassed not only the initial tank battle, but we've bypassed the spawn trigger for all the coveys that are up in this area. Sliding Ghost was the first uh, to demonstrate the skip, and uh, Michael W. Smith was the one that showed me the route to take, that, the route that I took. So I do appreciate uh, seeing that. So what we're doing here is we're going to run up and grab this wraith, so instead of getting into the infinity with the tank, we're going to use the Wraith. And we got here without firing a shot. It's a nice, nice skip to use. And the Wraith is pretty effective uh, in the initial area of the infinity. Now notice I've boosted there because there's a Phantom coming in. And I wanted to bypass the uh, main gunfire of the Phantom. And I'm going to boost right here as well because the Phantom's trying to fire at me. And I think that's ghost fire from uh, that second type of fire was ghost fire because it did drop off a couple of ghosts. Don't worry, they won't come up and bother me or bother you. They're back there. All right, now we want to come up to this point right here and we're faced with a wraith and a ghost right off the bat. Don't worry about the ghost. You can't really put a dent in the armor of the wraith. Now you get one free shot on the wraith. As soon as you fire, he's going to turn and start firing back at you. Now, you. Notice this rock formation here. I'm using that as cover. I'm strafing to the right. I fire, strafe to the right, let his plasma bolt land, and then strafe left and fire again. And uh, it takes probably three shots, three hits for my rate to take out that rate. That was one. That was a good hit. I think that's going to be a good hit. Oh yeah, you can see him smoking now. He's about toast. There he goes. The wraith is down. Now we can take out the ghost. And what happened there was that instead of taking out the ghost and the driver in, I knocked the driver out, which happened to be in the lead. 
not going to deal with this elite. I, I don't want to advance until that elite is taken care of. Now what will happen here is when his shields go down, he'll charge. I think I just got him. Alright, now coming around to the right here, there's another ghost that I need to take out and a whole bunch of little uh, cubbies including a, uh, at least one elite. There goes the uh, ghost. And that time I blew up the driver, so I don't have to worry about the driver. Now I'm staying back here at distance because uh, the, the shielded jackal and or the grunts could uh, EMP me and freeze this uh, wraith for a couple of seconds, allowing the elite to come up and do damage with grenades. I don't want that to happen, so I'm, I'm dealing with him from distance. And again, what see what happens there, when he loses his shields, he will charge and it becomes a pretty easy target. You just gotta avoid any grenades he throws at you. And I notice that grunt there is getting ready to EMP me, but I took him out and the uh, shielded jackal actually was kinda hiding back there, so go ahead and blow him up. Alright, that takes care of all the cubbies here. Now we're getting ready to go back into the uh, into the ship. And when the elevator brings us up, we're going to be faced with a whole bunch of cubbies, including a couple of elites, two hunters, uh, some uh, grunts, and shielded jackals. And at least one of the grunts is a fuel ride grunt, so we have to be very wary of them. And uh, when we come up here, notice this, uh, I'm immediately firing at the grunt. Notice this platform here with the mongoose on it. I'm using that as cover. That's how I strafe back and forth. I'll fire and strafe back and cover. Because those hunters are firing their fuel rod bolts at us. And we really don't want to take a hit on the wraith with, from the uh, elites. And, uh, ooh. There's also a, there's a fuel rod grunt out there somewhere. Also, at least one of the elites has got a uh, covenant carbine. And we want to make sure but he does, he's not able to put a lot of headshots on, on you because he can take you out even, even though you're in the Wraith, if the Wraith is taking some damage. Uh, normally, what will happen here with the Hunters is you tag them enough and they'll start backing up and become a non-factor. Then you can focus on the other covers. That's what I'm trying to do here. I notice that uh, Elite there on the side. So, notice that the hunters have backed up, and that's, that fuel rod is coming from that run, I think. I need to take him out. I want to get a shot. Yeah, that's a, I'm pretty sure that's a grunt run. I'm going to catch him from the left side of him. I think I got him. I'm not sure. Alright. Now I'm dealing with that elite out there. And this particular one likes to jump around a lot. So you almost have to time his jumps. Predict where he's going to go and fire in that direction. I'm not really that good at it. I'd like to get a little help from my marine buddies here. Notice if you move up to a certain point, or my marines move up, he'll start throwing grenades, and that makes it a lot easier to tag him like that. I believe his shields just went, so boom. One more shot and he's done. I don't know whether I took him out or Marines did, but notice that when his shields go, he charges. Usually, you know their shields are gone. If you can't see the shields pop, they'll throw their hands up in there. Alright, now we're working on the uh, hunters. I'm not sure whether I've already gotten I may have already gotten one. So I'm just trying to. Uh, get the range here. I'm getting close because I'm knocking him sideways. Yeah, still up there. Still kicking. Oh, there he goes, finally. Now, I think I've got just one shielded jackal left. And he's using a platform as cover as well. So I'm advancing cautiously here. I don't know how my shields are. I'm not quite sure about the shields on the wraith. Well, the wraith doesn't actually look like it's in pretty good shape here. 
a needler. He's got a needler, so definitely want to take him out with a wraith. Let's swing around here, and there he goes. Now, as soon as uh, Captain Del Rio appears there, that's this your signal Captain to get Del out Rio. because you've taken Last care of everybody in this area. You picked a hell of a time to and we're getting ready for the next battle. Sir, what's our status? That satellite took down the ship's defenses and is extracting data from the ship's mainframes as we speak. Can we break the connection? I wish you just open the damn door contacts here. contacts on the ship's upper hull. The fastest route is through the maintenance causeway. There's a mantis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Door. Come on. Take it. Let's open the door. When it does open, the first thing we're going to do is go to the terminal and activate the Manus when we see the waypoint right here. Alright, go ahead and activate. And then as soon as we do that, while the Manus is coming up, we'll run down here and get ourselves a rocket launcher. Get rid of that worthless AR. Okay, come back up here. Swing around. Go ahead and hop on the manis. There we go. Sort of distracted the hatches, the All right, we're going to have to blast open the door here, and it takes uh, a combination of two full uh, loads of missiles or rockets, and uh, in combination with the gun. Now, we want to clear this long corridor of uh, all our enemies, which is primarily Cubbies and a couple of Promethean Knights. And one of those grunts out there has got a fuel rod can, so we're going to be very careful with him. Take him out of distance, and way down at the end, here come the Knights. Oh, there is a fuel rod grunt. And what I do with the Knights is I try to take them out with a combination of rocket fire at their feet and uh, guns. The rocket fire helps to weaken the shields and the guns takes care of the rest of them. You have to be a little careful here because the barrel will overheat. Just like a 50 cal wheel on a, on a hog. Way down at the end there is a uh, turret. You see it getting ready to fire. I'll take it out with a combination of rocket fire and guns. There's also a couple of Shielded jackals down there I want to take out. I don't want them sneaking up on me when I'm not looking. Alright, we cleared this long corridor, and what I'm going to do here is take out two turrets and four fuel ride grunts. Uh, the captain said the didact from up here from instead of jet. using the manas because it's be. a lot easier to do it up here. And quicker, by the way. And then you don't have to worry about taking the fire, especially from the grunts. Okay, there's one fuel rod going down, there's two. Switch over to rockets. We're going to take out the turret with the rockets. Yeah, it does take a, a little bit of time for it to wind up and fire, so we have time to aim and fire. Now down here we're going to start with the turret. Where's that little sucker? There he is. Start with the turret. And then switch over to the EMR and take out the, uh, the grunts. EMR, and that's we did that from distance. So we really didn't take any fire at all, and we got rid of a major, a couple of major headaches. Now there is a nice little skip where you can run along the catwalks and bypass all of this next firefight until you get to the elevators, and then have to melee the six grunts that are in there. But it is a little risky, especially with the grunts. So I've decided to take the more careful approach. It is longer. This does take longer. And I'm going to take all the uh, all the enemies ahead of me out with uh, the manis. Again, I'm using rocket fire. There we go. I'm using rocket fire and guns in combination here. I'm staying back here because I do not want those shielded jackals to EMP me and uh, freeze the manis for a couple of seconds. Bad things happen when that when that occurs. I'm taking these guys out of distance. Alright, let's see if we can take this guy out. Okay, here he comes. We have a stomp. Alright. Scratch one knight with a foot stomp. 
wonder if that's uh, is the same thing as a melee. I don't know. I don't know how my shields are doing. But we're going to work our way down to the corner here. And there's three, uh, along with all the Prometheans, there's three turrets we've got to take out at some point. Okay. Unless I use the rockets to help drop the shields and then take him with the guns. There's turret number one over there. Go ahead and take that one out. That sound I just heard, I didn't realize, is that a knight teleported behind me. That's where that fire was coming from. So I'll go ahead and back up. Take him out from distance. Let my shields regenerate on the manis. This does take a while, but uh, it is. Uh, you, know, you do have armor. On the manis, protecting you. Nah, I didn't want that to happen. Alright, let's go around the corner. Take out that one for it. Uh, I took out the uh, walk, uh, crosswalk up there as well. And I'm just cleaning up the, uh, the Prometheans and the Cubbies. Okay, there goes the knight. There is a uh, turret way back there that I want to take out. Uh, there he goes. Now I've got a bunch of coveys and maybe one knight sitting on this ramp up here. I want to take them out of distance. Believe me, once I do, there are more will appear. We can't let the didact get access to Infinity's data source. Yada yada yada. Okay, Cortana, I'm working. I'm doing the best I can here. start to weaken them, uh, they'll just teleport out of there. When you advance, they'll come at you and you start firing at them and then they'll teleport out. So it's a little tough to take those two out. Also, right around the corner is a fuel rod right here. Just kind of working there. And so you're focused on these knights and the shielded jackals that are up here and then the fuel rod uh, runs, starts firing like crazy at you. Too, uh, take too much risk, and one of the shield of jackals will wind up EMPing you and your toast. So you've got to be real careful at this part of the battle. That's how quickly I back up because my shields are taking a taking a hit. Back up, let them recharge. There we go before I advance. Okay, and the knights out. Let's take care of. I don't know about that. Uh, I think I see him around the corner there. Oh yeah. I believe I. I believe I got the run. All right. And I just took out that knight. Oh no! Wait. Oh no! no. Good. You see how he was lurking back there? You really gotta be careful of that fuel right now. All right, as I advance up here, uh, in the background you can see a shielded jackal and a grunt, but I get up to a certain point here and two more knights will spawn. Uh, technically they're teleporting in, but they're spawning. So we just need to take them out with a combination of rockets and guns, as before. I'll just stand there uh, and, and take their fire. Uh, that's why I'm moving around. Treating as necessary to let the shield regenerate on the mass. You know, one of them's down. Now the other one's kind of hiding around the corner here. Get him. Alright, I must have dropped his shields with that rocket because he was charging me. But, you know, the Prometheans do the, do the same as elites. When you, when you drop their shields, they, they, they 
people have a tendency to charge. Some of them do anyway. Alright, there's the turret I just took out. Now I'm being careful here as well because there is a fuel ride run or two back there. And if you're not careful, you'll have a shield of jack or EMP and then a fuel ride run start firing at you. You really don't want that. Well, I'm taking them a distance. Also, I just took out that turret that was way in the back. All right, I think I got them all. On to the elevator to get to the outside. But as the door opens, we've got uh, about a half a dozen or so grunts to take out. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, there's one left. Huh? Let's uh, throw a grenade at me. Said the okay, the up we go. That's now, I'm not really sure how much health I got left in this, uh, in this mantle, so when I come out here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, uh, right before I get to the outside, I'm going to jump out of this mantis and head off to the left to grab a mantis that is out there. I really don't need to keep that particular mantis in reserve. There's one on the right side that I am going to use, potentially, in res as a reserve. Okay, jump out of the Mantis. Okay, see the door opens there. Haul it out here to the left. I see the gem. You know, those Three two phantoms gone down. away. They just dropped off some cubbies. Now, what, we, you know, what we're supposed to do here is destroy the three jammers, and then the guns will, uh, you know, so the guns will start firing. But what I want to do before I do that is take out the cubbies that are already here. Whoa, fuel rod run. Be careful. I have to be really mindful of these darn uh, grunts. But uh, nothing will happen as long as I don't take the jammers out. So we want to clean up all these cubbies, or as many of them as we can, that are already here before we take out the three jammers. Okay, so I took out some of these on the left here, left of the map cannon. Now I'm trying to clean up the ones on the right of the map cannon. And there is a fuel ride runner two down on this side as well, so we've got to be a little bit careful. I'm being actually being careful uh, to not fire into the jammers. I don't want to destroy any of the jammers until I'm ready. Alright. You notice how the, uh, the grunts and the Leads have a tendency to run back. Ooh, another fuel ride run. Get out of his way. Let's take him out. Just run out. As well. And let's see what we got left here. Jeez, another fuel ride run. Let's take this lead out of it again. Our shield just popped, so he should be gone. Here he goes. Alright, I think I got them all. So now what we want to do. Oh, nope, oh, one more grunt. Okay, now I got them all. I'm going to go ahead and start with the far jammer. Take it out. Combination of rockets and guns. Take out the middle jammer. And then take out the right jammer. And notice how quick I took those out. And then haul it back over here to this, this gun in place. This right gun. Now that's the right gun when you come out of the uh, out to the outside. It's obviously the left gun if you're facing the other way. And now we're going to have waves of uh, cubbies coming in on phantoms to be dropped off by phantoms. And we have to be mindful of the main guns of the phantoms as well. That's what I'm trying to do here is, is to take out that main gun. And there's going to be multiple phantoms dropping in, so they're going to be firing at you from all directions. So you have to be real careful about that. Try to take out the, uh, the cubbies as they drop out of the phantoms. And now there's going to be another one coming in from the other side. Right there. I never saw him coming in. Be mindful of the guns on the Phantom. You know, if at all possible, get your shields back, mostly back, on well, the Manus anyway. And notice that I'm turning around, taking out the ones that are behind, if possible. Oh, there's another Phantom coming in. Didact's not letting go without a fight. Alright, and then turn around take him out on this side. Now if the uh, mana uh, starts taking a lot of damage, it'll start smoking. And then 
right before it's destroyed, uh, there will be flames coming out of it. And at that point, you definitely want to jump out of the thing and head up here to the left uh, to grab the one that's just kind of sitting there. Right. On this particular run, I did not need to do that. I had a pretty good day with the Manus. Okay. Took out the main gun of that Phantom. Now I'm taking out the heck is firing at the left side. Oh. It's probably an elite with a storm rifle. Alright, let's turn around here, see if there's any behind. Here comes another Phantom coming in. Again, I'm trying to take out his main gun. There we go, took out the main gun with the rock. Uh, W's drop out of the uh, Phantom, try to take them out. Don't worry if you don't, because uh, they, you know, as long as you fire at them, they'll retreat. And then you can uh, take them out uh, at a distance. Still using this gun and placing this cover. Ooh, I think we just popped the shield. Yeah, he's charging me, so his shields are gone. That was pretty easy. Oh, geez, no, another one coming in. That might have been a that might have been a banshee. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that was a banshee that dropped in. Sometimes you won't see any at all. But the banshee just dropped in, fired a couple of bursts at me, and then took off again. I wish I had flying cameras so I could show you that. But fortunately, this is a live capture, so. It was a live capture, so I don't, you know, we don't have the campaign theater, so we can't use a flying camera. Now it's a matter of cleaning them all up. And what I find really interesting in this particular run, which I did not see right away, because uh, uh, Cortana is telling us to to finish them off, and. So that means there's a few left, and I suddenly I spot them up on top of that box. I had no idea how they got there. That's the first time I've ever seen that, so I've taken care of them. And when we get down to one or well, I think one, maybe one uh, covey left, usually it's run. Uh, for town will say that's how it's done, and then we'll get the uh, we'll see the waypoint for the uh, manual control for the Mac cannon. In this particular run, I'm still, I'm here, I'm waiting for it, and I don't see any cubbies right away, and I'm kind of wondering what's going on. And as it turns out, there was another grunt oh, I'm stuck on a crate over here, so I had to take him out. And let's see what we got here. I think there may be one more that I have to take here. I'm going to take this guy out. And that's when Fortan says that's how it's done. And the captain comes back on and tells us that we've got to uh, manually initiate the uh, MAC cannon. Now, notice the, uh, that uh, Banshee off in the distance just got blown out of the sky. I'm being very careful here, looking around for Banshees, because they have a tendency to swoop in on you. Uh, and so, I didn't see any, so I jumped out of the Manus. Went ahead and activated the control here, and now I'm taking fire. And where the heck is that coming from? Turns out it was a banshee just kind of lurking around there. And I almost bought the farm right at the end of the mission. This is really irritating. I have no idea. Here's, there's the banshee. See him? That was the banshee that was firing at me. So, while we think the mission's just about over, it wasn't, it wasn't quite over. You really got to be mindful of the banshees that are flying around. Now we're done. Uh, as soon as we hear a yellow alert, stand down, that's that's essentially the end of the mission. We just have to get through a cutscene, and then the end of mission symbols, and the mission is over. So I hope this helps you in your quest uh, for the Lazo emblem uh, for the Infinity mission, which is really a challenging mission here. This is Olden Aki, the signing off. Take care, everybody.